Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Ginseng Roots number eight out this week from Uncivilized Comics. And let me say, this is uh, another fantastic chapter in this comic book series that is getting um, overlooked by so many. This is one of the most intriguing releases to come out in uh, the past few years. And every single issue is, uh, is one that we'll either learn something from or leave you kind of uh, just uh, thinking about things. So it's by Craig Thompson. Um, it's going to be, I think, a 12-issue series total. And Ginseng Roots is about his time growing up in the ginseng community. Um, it's, it's a fascinating, fascinating uh, series and story. And just you know, something we haven't seen before. It's, it's kind of part memoir, um, part history lesson... And, you know, it's a, a fascinating look in just a, a, a part of America that I'm just completely unfamiliar with. Uh, this issue and the previous one kind of deviated a little bit, and it wasn't about Thompson himself, but it was about the Hmong community that uh, was from where he lived. Um, so the Hmong were from Laos, and they, a lot of them emigrated to the United States after Vietnam. Um, we kind of screwed them over, and they, they're uh, a people who uh, were, were kind of devastated due to the war. And what's interesting is uh, they, they wind up settling in the community where Thompson's from uh, and wind up working in the ginseng fields and are a hell of workers. Now, this issue kind of explores some of that of, like, why um, the previous issue did as well, but the bigger is about one particular family, and it's by uh, it's the Abrahams, and I, I want to get the names right, and I... I Apologize if I'm going to mispronounce it. Um, so the father's name named Guy Yi Vang, uh, but he went by Vang Abraham uh, when they moved to Wisconsin, um, and uh, you know after the war. And it, and his son is Chua, uh, and it's this is really about the son and legacy, and that's what the series is really about. And I think it's kind of what's really really interesting is the you know it is about how our upbringing. And how are, um, you know, the ghosts of the past impact us today is kind of a really good way of, of looking at it. Um, so Chua winds up, uh, you know, having to help his father on their farm with the ginseng and among other things, cucumber farming. And that basically, like, steals kind of his, his childhood and his future. He's forced into this life as a ginseng farmer. Uh, even after his father's passing, he winds up having to take it over because uh, no one else would, and that's really all he knew. Like, he had to drop out of, of high school to do it. He wasn't able to pursue college. Um, so this is this is his life. Um, and it, it's a discussion about that, of, of why does he do it, you know, why did he continue, and, you know, how is he doing today? And it's really, really kind of fascinating to read of going through this, like, really, you know, backbreaking hard work where the spoils aren't really to the farmers, it's to the people who then sell it to, uh, you know, th at the stores and to sell it to people on the streets. Uh, and it's it's just a fascinating, fascinating thing. It kind of takes you through the economics a little bit of it, uh, but a lot about the Hmong community and how they're, they're kind of, you know, the, the ghosts of their past really, really impact them. And, and this is a community that does, did and did not assimilate into the U.S. Um, as I said that, you know, his last name was Abraham, and it was because the father wanted to assimilate and kind of get away from uh, their past and wind up accepting Christianity, getting away from their uh, original religion, which was shamanism. Um, and, and you know, it was about this, this interesting life. Uh, and then, the, you know, as his father kind of aged and, you know, grew up, and then how Chua uh, grew up. And it's just... It's really, really interesting. I, it's one of those that you kind of think about, like, what are these things that you do in your life because you did it as a kid and you're just continuing to do it out of almost just kind of robotic sense of, like, this is just what you've always done. Um, and it's it's it'll, it's an issue that will get you to reflect. It'll get you to reflect about uh, growing up and, and those things that you kind of, you know, ritually did and you, you do today. Um, and then what choices were you able to make and what choices, you know, were you not that impact you today? Um, it's, it's really, it, I mean, it, it's just a very good comic and, and story about those growing up and, and how, how decisions a long time ago can 
affect you through your life. Um, just really, really, really well done. I mean, it's it's an amazing reflection and takes you through a very fascinating history. Um, as usual, Thompson's art is absolutely amazing. Uh, let me kind of go through, show you a little bit of it. It's the his red, black, and white continuation, like not quite traditional layouts of pages. Just like really, really beautiful art as uh, as always. Uh, it's just, I mean, as every single issue has is, is been fantastic. Um, it's it's been one of those pleasures of a comic book series for me to read, and uh, you know, I'm excited to pick up every single issue and uh, dive in and learn a little bit more about part of the world and you know, a life experience I've never had, and I can't even begin to imagine what it's like. So, you know, as, as always, highly, highly recommend this. Like, this, to me, is, is some of the best stuff put out right now. Um, you know, one of, one of my favorites of, uh, of last year, and, and I'm sure this will be one of my favorites of this year with, with not too many issues to go. Uh, go get this. You can get it from your comic book shop. If you can't get it from them, Uncivilized uh, Comics will have it. We got a link beneath this video. Put it in your zip code. Tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have, we we'll, probably should have some affiliate links. If not, we'll just have some links in general. Uh, definitely to the Uncivilized Comics website. You can go get it from there. But go, you know, support your comic shop if you can. And uh, as always, like, thanks for watching and supporting us. We really appreciate it. Now, if you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Keep being nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.